Hello, welcome to Canva, creating designs your own way. So let's get started. First, you want to go to an internet browser and go to canva.com. We'll go to the sign up page so you can sign in with Google, Facebook, or with an Apple ID. We're going to sign in with an email and password. And this will take you to the main page. So Canva wants you to access its designs a myriad of different ways. And so you can usually access different designs all throughout the website. And you'll kind of see as we go along uh, the breakdown of the website. And then we'll take a look at making the designs themselves. So up in the top left-hand corner are the Canva and Home tabs. You can always click on those and it'll take you home. Then we've got templates. So you can create your design, just you know, pick which kind of type of design you want and just start with a blank white design. Or you can go off of a template and you can customize that as much as you want. You can just change the information on it or you can really manipulate certain aspects of it to really make a template your own. And their templates are broken up, at least up here, by kind of the type of templates you'll need, like if you're doing a social media Facebook post versus a business website or a marketing flyer, things like that. And so you can always just click on one and it'll bring up different designs sort of by topic. And you can always do a search for templates as well. Next is the features tab. These are things you can add or use on your design, such as photos and icons. Photos and icons, most of them are free. And we'll go real quickly to the photos. So they're usually broken up kind of by a rough topic or subject. Sometimes it's stuff that's currently going on in the world. It will be trending. And so you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner, it says free on this photo. And on this one, it says it's a dollar sign that says premium. So when you get a Canva.com account, there's a lot of free stuff. They also really like the can their own Canva Pro that they offer. And so you can always look into signing up for Canva Pro, which costs money if you're interested. And then icons up here are kind of illustrations you can tack onto a design. They're really fun to look into. And they also have their own print uh, process their own printing and so you can always look into that if you're making bulk flyers or cards and then there's apps uh, app integration there's a way uh, and you'll see this when we kind of look at designs you can embed and combine various websites and social media onto your design or there's the duotone which is a way to change up photos in a really drastic way and they also offer charts and graphs and photo editing and they'll cover we'll cover a little bit of photo editing if there's time but you can also add graphs and charts into a design especially so it's great if you're doing a presentation and then this learn tab is great because we're covering some of the basics of the Canva website and a little bit on design but if you're still stuck it's a great way to go back and learn some more because Canva wants you to learn how to use its website. So there's also graphic design basics. It's not everyone's got that artsy eye or is so, you know, or is really new. They have courses and tutorials and other different ways you can help with learning. And then pricing is just a bit of a you know, quick go over. When you sign up, it's free, but you can always sign up for Canva Pro and you pay, pay more. Well, you pay to begin with, and it gives you access to a lot of photos and icons and even some fonts with paying by paying. But you can also pay as you go for specific fonts and items. 
And then Enterprise is a little bit more for large businesses. Camera Pro is for people who are really interested and use this a lot for cards and other things, or if you run a small business or work with an organization. And then we have education and nonprofits, so you can always kind of look into signing up for those. And so then up here, over here, and then down in the bottom right corner are the help buttons. So the help center will take you to this help page. And you can always browse around and try and find out what you're doing. And then again, the uh, help button in the bottom right corner can help you as well because you get kind of mixed up on what stuff is and it's a great way to just search for what you're getting stuck on and it'll explain it. Then we have our account settings. And so it'll go over your account, your billings and teams. That's if you decide to, you know, use Canva Premium or Canva Pro or buy some of the fonts or photos that cost money versus using just their free items. And then if you do print orders, it'll keep track here. And there's just create a design. So they want you to create it. They have this option a couple different places. They just want you to go ahead and create a design. And then here's your account. And they also have a refer friends option. So what you can do is you refer friends and their emails and you get some uh, credits and you can use those to have access to something that might have cost you otherwise. So we'll go back to the main page. And so here's our design anything banner as well up here. And so you can just kind of type in flyer and you could select from these options. And so over here, there's all your designs. And so if you click on this right here and recommended for you will basically take you to the main page, but all your designs will take you to all your designs. It'll start from the most current projects. And if the farther you scroll down, the older the design will be. And you can go to recent designs as well. Brand kit is more if you're using this with Canva Pro. And then there's all your folders. You only get two free folders. If you get Canva Pro, you get more, but you can also go to all your designs here or purchase um, likes applies to photos. You can like some of the photos and I'll keep track of that. And this is a uploads. It's up, uploads are here also on the left hand side. And then you'll also see them when you're working on your designs. It's just for when Canva offers a great myriad of videos and uh, photos but in case it's like a personal photo or a book cover or something that you need but they don't have you can always upload it there and you would upload like you would up, uh, upload a photo or video like you would at any other place as well and then here's trash here and here you can always delete your designs and then what it'll do is it'll leave it in the trash for a while and then after a certain period of time it will be properly deleted off your account. So here's my team. That's when you share your designs amongst people who have access to Canva as well. And you can always edit, you can look into sign, joining up and editing other people's designs. So real quick we're going to go back to all your designs. So this one has multiple pages on it. So if you just kind of hover over it, it'll go through all of your pages and it'll tell you. And then if you go up here to this box, it'll give you the title. You can make a copy. You can move it to one of two folders. You can go straight away to downloading it. You can get a shareable link so that way you can send it to someone to get and uh, get some feedback or show off. Uh, comments and likes. So if you're partnering with people or if you're trying to leave a memo to yourself, do this. You can do that or you can move it to the trash. And so what we're going to do now, real quick, we'll look at the rest of the main page. And like I said earlier, it's all kind of broken up very similarly throughout the website. So we're going to scroll down just a little. And so it has kind of the more recent options you've picked up here as recommended. And then here's your recent designs. 
and then you scroll down further and it'll have trending templates and then just go further and further down with different template ideas. So now we're going to look at a design and what you can do. Here, we'll select this one as a demo. And so this is the design. And so I, I this was a blank, no, this was a template I had severely manipulated to get to the way uh, to look the way I wanted it to. You see, I used this one and then just heavily manipulated it and not and cover a little bit of that. And so this will take you home every time. It also, when you click on a design, it will open up in a new tab. So if you really work on a bunch of different designs, it'll add up. Here's the file option. So you can go through and see what you can do with all of that and you can save it. It usually is really great about saving as you go and doing all changes saved, but just in case. And then here's the title. If you don't pick a title or if you don't give it a name, it'll usually go off of the template or the size of the design that you're picking. They always want you to try Canva Pro and you can also share it. You can share it with, uh, just put it in someone's email and you can decide if you want it to just be a link to edit or, you know, just to show them. This is the download function. And so they have PNG and PDF and then JPEG and, you know, regular PDF. They also have the MP4 video and GIF. Those are newer features. And apply if you're going to be publishing and going straight onto the internet. Not if you download, it won't necessarily keep, or it should keep fine. And then we also have published Facebook. So what you could do, since this is a Facebook post, like I specifically picked a Facebook post, uh, Size-wise, you can publish to Facebook, you know, just go to publish to Facebook if you're signed in and connected. It'll just go on that way, and it's great for when you're doing social media. And so over here is the templates function, so you can kind of browse through. Uh, as you can see here, there's all sorts of different types of can uh, templates, and so you can just kind of select one and manipulate it as you like. Here's uploads and here's photos and just photos and elements are more ways you can access what you need. So we'll go over elements real quick because elements has, like I said, icons, but it also has lines you can add, shapes you can add. Uh, frames are really nice. So what you do is you select one and then you can take a photo and hover it over the frame. So for example, you take this leaf photo and hover it over what would be this frame and it'll cut and automatically just shift into that frame. It's very handy when you're working on stuff. And they also have moving stickers, which are great if you're using social media. They're all sorts of fun. You have charts and grids as well. And a lot of it just depends. A lot of that's just butting around and getting used to everything. Then we have text. And so text will offer some suggested fonts and some font templates or font combinations. You can just add a heading or a subheading and then just start typing. And then up here you can pick, they have a myriad of different fonts and you can always browse through those. And then there's sizing and color. And some items, some can be bold and or italicized, some not at all. It just depends on the font. They also have a newer feature for music, some little sound bites. It looks like most of them are Canva Pro, so you end up not using it if you're just using Canva. And also it's something you're going to want to keep in mind is copyright, depending on what you're using your design for. And the same goes for video. So they have their own videos. But you can also connect with YouTube and look up a video and attach it to a design. So for example, Fort Bend County has been doing a lot of online programming and virtual programming. So you could specifically go find your video, uh, find a video and put it in to the design. And then background. 
are just different photos you can use and you can select one and manipulate it and give you a nice base background to get started on. And you can always collapse that. So there's folders as well and more. And so you can add some charts or mix things around. And then this is some app integration as well. And so real quick, you can always select the, you know, it'll highlight in blue when it's something you want to work on. And so you can always manipulate things. So for example, this was a photo that I adjusted the transparency on. I also adjusted the colors, which you can see up here. You just select, you know, select a color or select a part of the design. You can always change the colors around. Uh, and again, you can change the fonts. You can move items around like so. And you can also, with font groups like these, you can always hit ungroup or position. Um, positioning in terms of like to the front and first to the back and things like that. And there's just, again, all sorts of things you can do. And you can also duplicate the page or add a new page and just all sorts of things like that. And that's the basics of Canva. A lot of it is just taking the time to get used to everything and just practice and they have all sorts of different ways you can learn as well but go out and have some fun take care